What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, I want to give y'all an update um, from last night with your boy, uh, Mr. LaTroy. Now, Mr. LaTroy put on his post last night on Instagram that basically, basically alleging that Krishan fans pulled up to his house, okay? He's alleging that uh, Krishan fans pulled up to his house and basically ain't nobody trying to take up for him. He feeling all alone in the situation. And he, uh, somebody texted him and said, hey, look, I love you guys. Don't know y'all like I know whoever, but I would never want to see anything happen to y'all. Please hire security at least for a few months. I don't mean just for the tour. I mean in general as well. So somebody said, what the F? This, this got way out of hand. So... LaTroy said, yeah, and nobody is protecting me. So if I end up dead, nice to know everyone. Some of her fans have showed up to my house tonight, but hey, who cares, right? Now, I ain't gonna lie. What I'm thinking is, bro, you a grown ass man. You ain't got nothing in there to protect yourself. I just think that that is crazy. Um, show up to my door if you want to. <laughs> I'm trying to see. Um, so under his comments, somebody who also was on a tour with them said, LaTroy calls this on himself. Yes, I said it. You tried to pretend like you cared so much about James. And deep down, you don't. Tell the folks how nasty and rude you have been to James since the tour started up. Uh, to him being assaulted. Better yet, tell them how disrespectful you have been to not only Tamar, but our entire team for someone who talked to so much <clears throat> now wants to play victim girl bye. Now, like I keep telling y'all that man brought that on himself. You, if you and James was so cool, you would have made sure James was protected in that moment. James, be protected. Not, I got to tell the world, like, I never understand what he thought we were supposed to do. Like, what? Oh, oh, what happened? Let's go get Krishan. Like, <laughs> that's not how that worked. Nobody cares. <laughs> you know, first of all, uh, I absolutely hate the fact that this absolutely rained on James parade to be honest with you, because James could have in fact gotten touched and now nobody's going to believe it. Nobody. What he did is rob James of his own truth. If it was the truth, period. How in the hell y'all are getting somebody, but done turned on each other. Now Krishan is out here <laughs> bowing out gracefully Cause for why she probably whooped y'all ass because y'all ain't got y'all shit together. To be honest with you. I think if Krishan did put paws on LaTroy, excuse me, on James, them paws wasn't for James. Them paws was for LaTroy. She just missed the wrong person. And that's just what I got to say about that. Until it's any proof, she is innocent into proving guilty. But at this point, if the state decide to pick it up, that's the only way we're going to know if it's true or not. As far as they go, baby, this is done. This is finito. This is a wrap. Y'all have spoiled this for everybody, and especially James. Over it, over it, over it. So I just wanted to put that in the beginning of this video. And, uh, yeah, I'm done with this. Now, we about to head on to Diddy and Cassie. All right, y'all, so that Cassie and Diddy situation, I had to put on Patreon because that was a mess. Y'all can um subscribe to it down in the in my, not my pinned comment, but my um description. But yeah, we about to get into uh, Koyla Ray on this one. Her and her dad are going back and forth per use, but I think this real bad because uh he felt like she exposed something that she wasn't supposed to. With Angela Yee and Angela Yee is the enemy. Blah, 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 girl. Let's just watch them over.
Here he blew up Kid Cuddy car. Where did he find that camera? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. R. Kelly, so Natasha K, excuse me, what? I'm going to see if this um, is the right night and the right time to speak about what I'm going to speak about. So I'm going to see how many people join or whatever, because if everybody sleeps, then we can pick this up tomorrow. And if not, you can do it now. <clears throat> she definitely got them teeth done. I'm going to speak about. And I need to get off my chest. And it is bothering me. Um... And it is unfortunate I have to do this at the most important time of my career. Yes, for leaked documents and Cardi B mad. Cardi Big mad. What's she mad at? Um, when I should be celebrating my success. But the last thing I want to ever do is look like a liar to my fans. I would never want to um, oh. be that, do that. It's not my character. And... Um, yeah, reason why I came when I, when I got signed and when I came into the music industry, no one knew who my dad was. I never told anybody who my dad was. And that was something that I didn't want to do because of reasons like this, right? Because of reasons like this. Um, I just want to clear up the fact that that interview that I did with Angie Martinez was done back in June. That was almost five and a half months ago. Almost six months ago now. But yeah, that was back in June, July, August, February, October, November. Yeah, five months ago. And um, it's unfortunate that it came out now, but I I wouldn't never, I love Angie Martinez and I wouldn't want to share my story with anybody else. Um, during that time, I was doing a press release and I never told my story. I, that's something I just, you know, but Angie Martinez was something I wanted to do that with. And I'm very, very appreciative of that moment and blessed. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Since then, me and him reconciled the relationship and tried. Um, yeah, we tried. Now, you know, instead of like reaching out to me direct or hitting me direct and congratulating me on my nominations and you know, being nominated for the EMAs and, you know, my Grammy nominations and, um, you know, just so much stuff. That's me and my snacks. You man. don't call, you don't write, but you take everything oh, to the internet. Wait a minute. And you get on the internet and Who you try that? to play this. I don't know. You try to just whatever. Try to downplay me. Try to make it play victim. Try to make it seem like I'm a thing. You try to make it seem like my intentions is to hurt you. And that's never the case here. Um, I have a platform. I have a lot of people that look up to me and I am, I deserve to be able to speak my truth. And that's just a fact. Um, yeah. And I don't have to get on here and lie about struggle. I don't think anybody wants to <clears throat> do that. But yeah, I think that's corny. I have a mugshot. I asked my mom, I, I, you know, I'm not going to, we don't even want to put my other family in this because I think that's kind of not what I'm here for. Uh-huh. Um, what else? That pretty much sum everything up, right? I pretty much said it in the most, trying to say this in the most like graceful way and just try to make y'all understand like I, if I don't get on here and say something and it takes me everything in me to get on live and do this, especially again in the most precious times in my career but for some reason these blogs right like my entire career it seems like they've just been trying to take over my story take over my narrative take over my career and if i don't say something if i don't defend myself if i don't speak up then i'm gonna allow these blogs to tell my story to tell y'all who i am and i don't think that's fair to me to my fans to anybody I don't know what why these people are so infatuated on trying to like put crazy stories or trying to make crazy headlines or like if you notice all these blogs are talking about my dad's situation but none of nobody's posting the Grammy nomination and I just find that damn she said fuck what's going on with my daddy y'all don't see I just got nominated for a Grammy y'all want to talk about Bezito! 
crazy. But I don't expect that nobody owes me shit. But it just goes to show you that if I don't get on this live and tell you my side of the story, then again, these blogs are going to tell it for me. And I don't want that to be a situation. So for me, um, yep, I don't have to speak on this ever again. Um, he made it very clear that he never wants to speak to me again. So I, I, I just wish that he would respect that. Um, again, the interview was done in June. I haven't said anything since, but respectfully, I just wish that we could just kind of just keep everything offline moving forward. If you have anything to say, you can call Grandpa Tito, you can call my mom, just like how you called me last week asking for what you asked for. You could have just hit me direct. Like, I'd rather you just do that on a respectful level of just me being your daughter. So this why he went off because she said that he was asking her for money. Daughter at the end of the day. Like, I don't, we don't got to have a relationship, but I'm still your kid. It is what it is. So just respect the fact that what you're doing is not cool. Um, baby Zeno got to see it. Taj got to see it. Everybody got to see it in the family. Grandpa, my grandfather texted me talking about he got to get on his breathing machine because he gets so worked up having to see him go online and just create craziness for no reason. Make up things, try to make it seem like I'm, I just don't, it just has to stop. And if you notice, it has been a pattern for some time now, a pattern for some time now, a pattern since he went on Clubhouse and did the whole. She said that she wants to come speak about it because the blogs and their narratives. Blick, blick situation and leaked and leaked the fact that I had the record with Nikki since he went and tried to downplay my album sales on Trendsetter since he went and tried to like it just seems like every single time instead of you congratulating me and be happy for me you want to go online and try to use me to prove yourself to these people in this industry on why you feel like you didn't get the respect or whatever it is that you deserve I don't want to be a clout kid I don't want to be a clout kid I'd rather us again just hit me offline hit our family and other than that, let's just, I'll never, ever, ever mention anything in any more interviews ever again. Ever again. Well, she should have known that this was going to go the way it went. That's all. Have a good day. Have a good night. I hope everybody. Koi put herself in this situation. Benzino was pissing her off at the time. But to come out and expose your daddy, it's just kind of crazy. <clears throat> and I mean, mm -mm. him, he, he ain't no better what he doing to her. So I just hope they get it together. They did it at one point, so hopefully they still can. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. We are done with this video. Yeah, I wouldn't give him nothing else either. Uh, hold on. Because I do want to go to the video of um, Benzino going off because he asked Koi for some money. And girl, everybody is up. <laughs> Not everybody. He was really upset about that. That she exposed him for him asking for money. <laughs> Here it is. Some money? I made you. You didn't make me. That nigga crazy. And what I called you for. Yeah, I called you for some money. I made you. You didn't make me. You know what? I called Ray Ray and everybody else. Uh, wait a minute. And what I called you for. Yeah, I called you for some money. I made you. You didn't make me. You know what? I called Ray Ray and everybody else. I'm supposed to. Who the fuck else am I supposed to call? What the fuck is the matter with this generation of you kids, man? Y'all are Y'all are that nigga said, who else am I supposed to call? You <laughs> nigga said the bank. Yeah, he definitely exposed himself because she never said what she never said. Angie knew what she was doing. She don't like me. Angela Yee knew what she was doing. She don't like me. But you had no problem with disrespecting the fucking man that brought you here. I had you. You didn't have me. My that sound like some old dad shit to Korea, say. I did a fucking things 
amazing. Girl, ain't nobody agreeing with this shit. I ain't even gave an opinion. I don't care. Amazing things. I'm proud of what you're doing, but Court, you ain't done this shit or made the money that I made. And what would I be agreeing with? I'm confused. You couldn't walk in my fucking Adidas for an hour. How can you get on here and say that you're a clout? I'm using you for clout. Coy. Coy. Your first record was disrespecting me. Your first record that Universal allowed was you disrespecting your father. In that narrative of me not being there and you was had to come out and sell drugs and you had to overcome all these obstacles. No. No. No, you was bad. That nigga got a hard face. He don't have anyone but his children have a heart. Let me tell you something, friend. Because it seems like you just started coming to Twitch. And you say you've been watching me for a long time. You know who I am and things like that. If you can't take a, a joke, this ain't the stream for you. It ain't the stream. I promise you it ain't the string. That nigga grown-ass man. I don't have to have a heart with a grown-ass man who can get his own check. All right? Nah. <laughs> grown-ass man. And your mother sent you down to live with me in Atlanta. You Abusive-ass man. Okay. As well. Okay. Couldn't cope with that because I wasn't going for the shit that she goes for and went for. So Woman beating ass, man. Bullying his own child, ass, man. I don't. <laughs> There's no sympathy there for him. Okay. I don't know if there was some uh, anger because of that, but that's all I. That's all how I knew to be a father. How oh, am I using you as a clout kid? Do you know, Coy, when Strong me and your mother ass, broke man. up, the eight hundred thousand dollar new house in Upper Saddle River, not Saddle River, we. Four, four, four in the jet. From the mansion, the upper side of the river. Remember, I got indicted by the feds and I lost everything. I got indicted by the feds and I lost everything. Him getting indicted by the feds. Who the hell told him to do the shit to break the law? You can't feel bad for, for Mr. Zeno. Now, I go back to the street. He made a lot Fuck of the mistakes. the music industry. The street is there for me. I take my right back to Boston or any block in this country and get it. Cause that's what I did for real. But I, but we started hip hop weekly. We moved on, I moved to Miami, but I gave your mother a house. Now before that I was giving your mother $4,000 a month allowance, four G's a month for a few years. She could have took some of that money and saved it. She could have opened up a business. When I gave her the house coy, you, Taj, Kwame, and Marnie, when I gave her the house, like the four or five bedroom house, I was still sending 2,500 a month when we broke up. The mortgage was 1,800 a month. She said she couldn't afford it. I got no problems with Asia. I'm not disrespecting Asia, I'm not disrespecting your mother, but I'm telling my fucking truth because I'm tired of you lying on me and making, you don't understand, Corey, right? What I went through, like I represent a lot of in that town, in Roxbury, in Dorchester. But I can't let you come on the internet and ruin my reputation. He already ruined his reputation. This nigga did that a long time ago. Majority of the industry do not like that nigga. Uh, T-Mail, the lady that had me, Ain't claimed me yet. We all got a story, sis. Everybody. Uh, this man, he ruined his name in the industry way before Cola Ray came along. How are you a clout kid? How am I using you for clout when I'm your storyline since day one? I thought it was over with. I thought after Rolling Loud, which you, you treated me like I was one of the fucking uh, stagehands. It ain't no secret I'm not doing as better than I was, but I don't give a I don't care about it. that's not what it is about me. Money didn't make me. I've had millions and I've spent it on you, your mother, your 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 um two older brothers, Taj, and your um uncle, Jason. Shout, that's my heart. Paralyzed. I took care of everybody and you knew that. 
Since no more parties, you've been using me as your storyline and you still doing it. You talking about your truth. That's not your truth. Also, uh, her using him for the storyline is absolutely crazy because um, I don't remember the first song. So that's something that I can't speak on. I don't remember the first song. No cap. Um, but yeah. I, I struggled, I sacrificed, I sold drugs, so you didn't have to. And I know that sounds cliche-ish, but in this case, that's how it happened. And your mother's not going to get on here and defend me because... You he thinks that his child owes him for him raising her. When Coy did not ask to be here, <laughs> you had to do the shit that you did. Maybe not, not spend all your money, which is something that you your ass chose to do, but... Crazy. You take care of her. You can tell me I've survived everything, but I'm gonna let my daughter take me down. It ain't gonna happen, CC. Princess. When you was three, you had minks and diamonds on in Ray Ray's video, Shine Like My Son, where I brought other fathers and their kids. Stevie, Nori, Ja, where y'all at? Y'all supposed to be my fucking brothers. Say something. You was there when I was taking care of her. You seen what the fuck I was... Where the fuck are all my friends at that seen me taking care of this little girl and ain't saying... Nigga, they minding they fucking business trying to keep their heart good because niggas is getting old. Ain't nobody jumping in this shit. He tripping. <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? God damn, man. And what I called you for, yeah. That's crap. I ain't gonna lie, that's crazy for him to think older friends is about to be like, uh-uh, Coy, you ain't supposed to. Like, they wasn't in a household with you. You know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Um, You know, everybody get like a grip at tears. Like when people start crying, it's like, oh my God, their life is ruined. And it's like, y'all, people do do things to themselves. If I don't handle my business how I'm supposed to handle my business, I know I did it to myself. I know I done fucked up. Um, she didn't even say what I gave you, what you asked for, none of that shit. She was just like, you know what I'm saying? You called me last week when you needed what you needed. So then he go on here exposing himself. He like, nigga, since I took care of you, you got to give me some money. No, she doesn't. She doesn't have to. You, you brought her here. She didn't. Um, so, yeah. Y'all just let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Um, I think that as a father, I wouldn't be doing all this dumb shit. Now, I would have an issue with her for sure, but I would handle it off social media. His ego is tried, and he feels embarrassed. He also uh, wants people to feel sorry for him because right now he, he, he needs something. He needs some money. He needs something. And it's given he don't want to go back to the streets, which is understood. Well, he just said he would, no problem. But um, I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.